So this is a bittersweet moment for me, for the show, for everyone. I'm trying to think, I've been trying to put words together um, for this. I think the best way that I can convey what I need to convey is just come out and say it. So Paranormal Patio, as you know it, is uh, going to step into the shadows <laughs> from which it emerged uh, for a little while at least for a little while, maybe forever. Coming out of season three, I was really starting to lose the passion for the project, for editing, for putting things together, for recording, for uploading, for social media, everything. And I thought by changing up the way the show ran for season four, I would reinvigorate and I would be more focused and have that passion again. And it really, it, it kind of only made things worse uh, because we started doing the video content and, uh, you know, it was even more work. And I just felt a cringe in myself uh, when I knew I had to come out here to the studio to put things together. Now, as far as like recording the shows, I've never struggled with that. And it's really the editing more than anything. Um, but that brings us to a lot of questions like what's going to happen now. Right. And the biggest thing that I wanted to let you know is that I'm not going away. Um, I'm already working on a couple of other projects, podcast projects, uh, with no, strict schedule, no time limit, no whatever. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to those. It will be a big change. Um, they will be fictional narrative podcasts. Uh, the first one is going to be a found footage style, which is really interesting. Um, I'm working with Steve Berg for that. Um, we'll be teaming up for the first one. The second one is uh, much more ambitious and I'm hoping that the momentum of the first one will help push it through. And I'm looking forward to that one a lot and both of them really. So that being said, I'm also still planning on finishing the documentary, hopefully within the next few months. I know I've been saying this for years at this point, uh, the weather is starting to get better which means I can do my outside shoot for the last things that I want to redo, then throw it in and put it together again, and it will be ready to go. Uh, also, I am in the planning stages of building an online course for astral projection. So there's also that. I, Even though I've been gone for a minute, I've been really busy. <laughs> I've been really, really busy. And I'm looking forward to the changes that come. And I'm not saying I will never step back into the paranormal patio again. I'm just saying for right now, I'm not going to be here. And I want to thank a bunch of people. I want to thank my co-host for season four, Keith. Um, one of my good friends, been friends for a really long time. And hopefully I can work with Keith again in the future on something. Uh, well, I know I will. He's my director of photography for the documentary. So uh, he'll be here at least for uh, filming that. Also, um, our narrator for season four, uh, CJ Wheelwright, is fantastic. And I'm going to try my best to incorporate her into future projects as well, if she's willing. Uh, we had a discussion about that a while back. Um. I want to thank everybody from the Patreon over the years. I know some of you have been here for the bulk of the Patreon's existence, and a lot of people have come and gone and come back and gone again and come back again. Uh, it's the nature of the beast, but I want to thank all of you deeply. I really appreciate you, and I also appreciate and want to thank just the fans who have tuned in over the years to listen to myself and a co-host typically, or a uh, a guest just talk weird and be there for each other when we are basically on 
a lonely deserted island uh with regard to the normalcy i think is a good way to put it um you know we we all develop a brotherhood with one another and it's important that we have channels for that and luckily there's a lot of amazing podcasts that deal with paranormal things and um you know there's still venues there for people so hopefully you have other things besides the show and i just about guarantee you do uh who else do i need to think i need to thank um all the guests from over the years which i feel like i have made my thoughts clear to them like thank you so much for doing this interview every time um and i am incredibly grateful that i i mean i've met some amazing people doing this show it's been terrific and i've made friends with a lot of those folks and we are still in contact today you know and not necessarily even directly met them but like uh people that i've met at strange realities in nashville people that i've met in somerset you know people that i talk to regularly or semi regularly so yeah a lot of great people i got to meet up in real life with adam tala last year at strange realities um which was great uh he was sick and i hate being in the city so like you know i think we both felt like a little awkward at first but you know i knew what i was getting to i think he did too so we had a great time an absolutely great time hopefully we can do something like that again in the future so there's uh the the projects got that out of the way got the thank yous out of the way as far as the patreon folks you may be wondering like well you know do i even need to keep up with the patreon now it's totally up to you what i will say is that anything that is similar in the future with the other projects i will also use that content for this patreon so with the next two projects the podcast projects they if there are patreon aspects uh, of that show they will all be translated and as far as early access and uh, getting that content before anyone else you can still do that um so if you choose to remain a patreon member for the paranormal patio you'll still keep all the benefits that you would normally get from my show uh, on future projects you'll also get access to the documentary when it comes out before anyone else and um if i can if i can physically do it uh i will make the content of the astral projection course if and when it materializes available to patreon for free if i can or incredibly discounted if i can't whatever i can do to make it the best thing i can do for you guys i will you have my word i will also no, i think that's it really um it's been a pleasure sitting here behind this microphone and uh you know just spending time with everyone i really learned a lot uh, from this journey a whole lot and i'm really I, I don't even want to say i'm really sad that it's over because i'm not like it's kind of a relief that i decided to um just put it away for a minute and step away how long that minute lasts i don't know uh <laughs> it might be forever you know that's a, the reality of it is i really don't know I can't see me staying away though. Um, I'm not trying to be cryptic. I'm just, I can't see me not wanting to talk about weird things as far as, uh, people that I talk to on the regular who are just hearing this for the first time, which should be almost everyone. A few people have known what was kind of coming and going. Um, definitely still like keep up with me or whatever. And I'll try my best to keep up with you, uh, social media wise and things like that. And at events, I'm still going to be going and doing the same things, you know, and I'm still going to have this affinity for the strange and the weird, you know, it's not going away. I want to talk a little bit before I go about this project with Steve. So the day that I decided, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. I need to, I need to stop. I need to put it down. 
uh, I was really, really searching. Like <laughs> I've devoted a lot of my time and my money to putting things in place to do the show. I have, you know, a studio here on my property that's dedicated strictly to recording podcasts and video. And I thought, what am I going to do with that? Like, I can't just let it sit empty. Like it's such a waste, but I had no idea. And so I was uh, thinking about what I could do all night at work. I worked the overnight shift. It's all night. Just thinking about it. It was, it was burning in me. And uh, I came home, went to bed and I had this dream. (laughs) <laughs> which I'm always, you know, like, oh, it's that guy that has dreams. But I had this dream that I was in this 90s toy store as an adult, as me, but it was a 90s toy store. It was in the 90s. I'm walking up and down the aisles and looking at everything on the shelves, things I remember, things I was fond of, things I had. Uh, but th- it was such a nostalgic treat for me. And I woke up and I thought, man, that was such a great dream. Like that made me feel really, really good. And then I thought, what if I did a fictional podcast where I time traveled? And I started kind of laying some building blocks down. I sent Steve a message and I said, hey, what do you think about this idea where it's a fictional podcast, a narrative podcast? And from 2024, I time travel to 1998. And I have no idea how I got there, why I time traveled or how long I'm going to be there. And the only thing I can think to do is call you the host of my favorite AM paranormal radio show that I grew up listening to and listened to until it stopped airing and tell you about it. And he's like, you know, that has a lot of potential. And we started talking about some more ideas and some more things with it. So that and that idea itself is uh going to persist that will that will happen and the, like the first episode will be kind of about like you know I'm from the future I don't know why all that stuff but the second episode and I'm not going to give you too many spoilers but like a minor spoiler is I receive a letter I find a letter from myself from the future that tells me like what's going on and what I need to do And it's, uh, I think we decided it'll be like roughly like six to 10 episodes. Um, we have, I have a lot of the story, like the basics of the story are laid out. Um, we have a meeting coming up here in a couple of weeks to talk about more ideas and then I'll start incorporating whatever comes out of that meeting into like the script and then like, we'll, we'll knock it out and, you know. We'll uh, run with it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, So big props to Steve Berg for wanting to accept that challenge. I think it's going to be a great time. The second narrative podcast is called Cracks in the Pavement. I don't know what role I'll play in it. If I even have like a speaking part. I don't know yet. Um, It's a bigger cast. Like eight characters or something like that. And uh This guy moves to Los Angeles to this apartment complex that has all these cracks outside in the sidewalk and the pavement in the courtyard area. And he starts hearing voices coming from the cracks. And there's a nefarious element uh, (laughs) that comes into play. So both of these stories are still very much in the realm of, you know, weirdo stuff. So I'm looking forward to continuing that in a different way. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Of course, the documentary, um, I have handwritten everything that I'm going to be re-recording in this book. And I, I think the plan after it's all done and released is I'm probably going to give this uh, journal away. It's a cloth paper, like fancy journal um all the lines that i'm going to be saying are in it and i actually signed it too probably will give that away to a lucky listener viewer what have you 
probably a patron. And um, yeah, man, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to start putting together the astral projection course stuff really soon, probably this week. Um, when I get it all ironed out, like I said, anyone on Patreon right now, um, I will do my best to give you as cheap of access to it as possible. And, you know, just a way to continue my thanks for sticking around and being here. And uh, feel free to reach out to me, too, still. If you have weird things going on, uh, email me, paranormalpatio at gmail. Find me on Instagram. Uh, Facebook page is still there. I don't get on Facebook very much. I hate it. And to be honest, if it weren't for putting out content, I wouldn't have any social media whatsoever. But it's there. Uh, everything is going to remain out there on the internet as far as the show goes. Uh, so on Spotify and YouTube and all the good stuff. So that's it. I've been dreading this moment. Really, I was going to do a live. I got sick. Then I've just been really busy. Uh, I decided I'll just do the video instead. So I want to thank everybody once again. Um, not for the last time, but for this time. So thank you all very much for being here, being a part of this crazy journey that I'm just, I'm really, you know, blessed and happy to have been on. So that being said, peace, love, be nice to each other, please. And find me when you get weird stuff because I'm, I'm still interested and uh, I'm still going to do everything I can for the people who have supported me. Hopefully you are interested in supporting the future projects and um, I'll take care of you with them as best I can. All right. Thank you guys. 